So we're extending what we understand from Wednesday, namely that uh, and or a not are the basic building blocks for all uh, electronic and digital components, much like protons, neutrons, and electrons are the basic building blocks of all atoms. You can have all kinds of different atoms based on the different combinations of protons, neutrons, and electrons. The same is true of electronic and digital components. You can have different digital components by different combinations, numbers and combinations of ands, ors, and nots. We reviewed some initial behavior and the outcomes you can get with uh, combinations of ones and zeros for inputs, but we're gonna take a step back and uh, dive a little deeper into and and or and not, and what, what the operators really do on a very granular level. I wanna show you two possibilities for and. We said that all the inputs for and have to be one or true or on, or yet, in order, in order for the output, a single output, to be true. So the first value has to be a one, and the second value has to be a one, and the third value has to be a one, and the fourth value has to be a one, and the fifth value has to be a one, and, 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 and. They all have to be one in order for the output to be one. If we had a function, if we decide we're gonna make a function out of and, and I'm gonna feed a series of binary values into that function, I can apply and to a series of binary values, one binary value after another. And that's the same as taking, in this example, one and, no, actually I'm gonna use the, the dot symbol. Remember we said the dot symbol, it's this symbol that represents and. This symbol, this symbol, the plus sign represents or. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, I'm going to do this. I'm going to say, okay, and zero and one and one and zero and zero and one and one. And what's that gonna be equal to? So I'm taking each of these values and I'm feeding them one at a time into the inputs for ands. Now I could have an and logic gate or I could have an and that has several inputs or I could have an AND operator with only one input. If I put in the binary values in series and apply AND in a serial, this is called serial, this is a serial processing of binary values using AND, it means I'm doing it in a series, one after another, after another, after another, after another. And all of them have to equal one in order for the output to equal one. So what's the value here? What do you think the output value is here? Anyone? Zero? It's zero, that's correct. And it's zero because I have some zeros in that series. And so as soon as I hit this one, the and triggers it. And then from that point on, boom, 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 all the way down, it's like false, 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 false. I don't even have to process the rest. The first zero I come up with cuts it off. It's like, I don't have to look at the rest of these. You'll find that software can be fashioned in such a manner to be most efficient that way. It's like, hey, if I come across the first false or zero, boom, I'm done. Now you can also apply and to a pair of binary values or a pair of binary value strings, right? 
what we call in parallel, okay? So, this is called, so I want you to think of the word pair and how it sounds similar phonetically to the word parallel, right? So let's take, let's take our example here. If I take this and I go ahead and I put this here and I'm going to and it. with this, zero, one, zero, one, zero, oops, one, zero, one. What I'm doing, that's the same as, anding this value and this value, so I could put I could put a string of lines here, right across here. So if I and one and zero, what do I put down here? Zero. Zero. What would I put zero. here? Right. So I put here. What do I put here? 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 Here. Here here. So I'm only looking at this combination. I'm not ending it across in a serial fashion. I'm taking a byte, 8 bits, which is technically 1011. What's the hex value for that? Quick. B. Because yeah, A is 1010, right? You should know these. What's this hex value? 3. Right? So if I have B3 for hex value, or I have this decimal value and I want to and it, I'm actually multiplying it on a digital level. I have 0, 01010101. 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. That's 55 five for a hex value. I'm actually taking this and this and I'm anding them together. So what's my result here? Zero. 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 Correct. Now what's my what's my next value? Zero. Zero. Okay, that's also zero. What about this value here? Zero. Zero. What about this one? That would be one. That's a one. Can everybody see how that's different? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. So what I'm doing is using this like a like a okay, so I have multiple columns of binary values and a byte or a nipple, and I'm using and in parallel. Let's keep going. What's this one here? What are all the rest of them? The, that one's zero. The next zero. one's zero. And the last, and the last one's one. one is one. Okay, it's the same thing basically, right? Let me do this. Okay, yep. So when I get to this pair of values, I have a one and a one, and that equals a one. Very different answers, aren't they? I mean, yeah. I take this value and I feed it in in a serial fashion to an AND function and treat them all in series. The first false value I come up with, it's like, eh, I'm done. This one, oh, I have some true values in there. It all depends on whether or not I'm doing it in series, okay? Whether I'm doing it in series or I'm doing it in parallel. And that's an important concept to understand. That's an important concept to understand. Now, uh, that's and. I want to take the same thing, right? And uh, I'm going to save this as a 
to save it as an, I'm going to do it with or now. Let's, let's take the case of or. So now I'm going to switch and say, okay, now we're looking at or as a logical uh, Boolean operator or in, in software or as a logic gate either way. What do I have to do with this here? Can, can I leave this operator symbol as is or do I have to replace it? Change it to the plus sign. Yeah, you got to change it to the plus sign. Okay. And see, that's confusing because as soon as I do this, in the mind, when we're going one and one and one and one is equal to two, three, four, we're thinking and and we're thinking addition. Does everybody understand what I just said? Yeah. Or is addition, not and. And is multiplication. So we have to be careful. We don't get confused, right? We have to make sure we change all the references, including the operator symbol, so we're not thrown by this. So now I'm adding instead of multiplying values on a binary level inside the ALU, inside the arithmetic logic unit, inside the CPU. I'm processing this, right? So I'm applying OR in series. And as long as any one of them is a one, the output is a one. So what's my answer now? One. One. My answer is one. And as soon as I hit the first one, I don't even have to evaluate any of the rest because all I need is one value to turn it true if the first one is a one or the second one or the third one or the fourth one. Well, shoot, if I'm looking for a true or a one, as soon as I hit this first value, it's like, oh, I'm done. It's a one. Why? Well, because I got to the, you know, I got to the first case where we have a one value. So that's what we have for an answer. Does that make sense? Does everybody got that? Yes. Okay. Now that seems kind of weird. All right, so we can also apply or to a pair of binary values or multiple sets of binary values in parallel, same manner. We're gonna have the same results down here. What do you think? No. No. Let's look at each case. What do I have for an answer here? One. One. Yeah, what about this one? This pair. One. 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 Yeah. What about this one? One. One. Yeah. What about this one? One. One. Uh oh. What about this one? Zero. Zero. Okay. What about the rest? Top and bottom. One. Ones. One. Right. So I have a zero here, but there's a one down here. I have a one here. I can stop because that zero doesn't matter. I have a one here and a one there, so I can go one. One. Right. That's what we're dealing with. That's what we're dealing with. Okay, any questions about how OR works? No. Okay, last but not least, what do we have left? Not. 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 Yep. not. So I'm going to put not in a series. And what I have to do is get rid of these. And instead, I represent the application of not for each case for each value by putting a bar over the top of that. It's a, it's a line over the top that's called a bar. 
I would, I would pronounce that bar one. If this was an A, I'd say bar A or not A. So using the word not, the symbol that we're going to use is a line over the character that it applies to. And here's something really important to understand about not. This is the most important thing to understand about not. Whenever a not is engaged, it applies to that value before any other Boolean operator does. Does anybody remember multiplication, division, um, addition, subtraction, the order of operations for mathematical operators? Yes, PEMDAS. PEMDAS. Yeah. PEMDAS, or my dear Aunt Sally, right? I always remembered it, my dear Aunt Sally. M-D-A-S, it's like you multiply first, then divide, then the, you multiply and divide first from left to right, and then you add and subtract. And if you have a mathematics equation and you do your addition first, and then do your multiplication, you get a wrong answer, yeah? When you're doing the knots, the knot works like that. It has priority over other operators. You apply the knot before you do the and, you apply the knot before you do the or. So what am I saying? Well, it's a little tricky, and I want to help you through this. So I want you, I want you to see what happens here. So let's apply not to this. And how do we get how do we get our character with a bar? Um, you can basically get characters for every letter of the alphabet with a bar over them. And I'm, I'm going to provide you with, uh, I'm going to go ahead and use these eight characters and then say, This is the value of A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H is this, 10110011, okay? So let's, let's substitute this binary place, the eighth column, for a variable we're going to call A. And then this one's going to be B, and this one's going to be C, and this one's going to be D, right? So, so what am I saying here? Symbolically, yeah, I'm going to do something a little weird, so bear with me. That's eight right there, yes? I want you to pretend that this binary value is represented by the variable we will call A, or the input we will call A. This binary value is represented by the variable we will call B, represented by B. If you see A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, do I have too many? Yeah, one extra. One extra. If I say that this is A, this is B, this is C, and then I give you the values for A, the values for B, the values for C, the values for D, the values for E, F, G, and H, I say A is one, B is zero, C is one, D is one, E is zero, F is zero, G is one, H is one. Everybody with me so far? And I'm gonna apply the not function to them. Wait, 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 I'm, um... I'm on tank tank can I am um I am um come 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 confused about the one not not operation. Okay, when you apply any Boolean function to a series of binary values, you apply it to the first one, then the second one, then the third one in order, right? So you take each binary value and, and you apply the operator to it. With not 
all you're doing is taking the first value. What's not one? Zero. Zero. That's what, that's what, if this is A, all right, so let me see if this helps. And, and uh, I hope it helps. I hope it does. Oh, I see. Let's say that you have a problem where I define the values, the initial values of these variables, right? I say A is equal to one, B is equal to zero, C is equal to one. So that's the same as this, right? But I'm applying the not operator to it. What I'm really doing is putting this in there, right? That's the same as this view. So, so before, when we had and and or, you had a plus sign or you had the multiplication dot the symbol in between. But I want you to see that in some cases in a formula, you're gonna get this, you're gonna get a variable or you'll get a value and there'll be a line or a bar across the top. And that means the not is applied to that specific value before anything else is applied, before you consider what an and is or a, an or is, right? So, but let's just do this. So originally A is, a one. But if I have a bar, that's saying not a, which is the same as saying not one, which is what? Zero. Let's take this a step further again. I have a not b, which is the same as saying a not zero. What's not zero? One. One. Okay. So one. What's a uh, not one? Zero. Zero. A zero, what's a not one? Zero. Zero. A zero, okay. So. Oh, the, is, 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 is it the, um, is the one up, up, upper opposite? Yes. Of, of, of the one. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. So it's basically the reverse? Exactly. Apply it's not like, to a series of by name. It's by like a risk yes. Death. yes. It reverses the value. And it reverses in series, one after another, each of the values, right? Okay. So what happens if you try to apply a knot like this? Well, first of all, you're going to reverse these. And then you're going to reverse these. Are you going to and them and or them? Do you see an and and an or there? No. No. No, you don't. No. What you're going to do is you're going to, okay, so we're going to say same as, right? This is the same as. Big fat. So it gets a little more complicated, but the simple truth is just take whatever you have and reverse it. So this is the same as uh, Okay, so let me let me run this all the way down. All right, so we have we're playing a, a, a dot to a pair of binary values. What am I doing? I have one zero one one zero zero one one, and then I have a second binary value, an eight bit byte zero one zero one zero one zero one. And what does that do? Well, that's real simple. 
All I do is reverse everything. What's the reverse of 1011? Anyone? Zero, one, zero, zero. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to have zero, one, zero, zero. And if I flip this, what do I have? One, one, zero, zero. One, one, zero, zero. Thank you for your bravery. Yes. Okay, I'm going to flip this completely all the way across. What do I have? One, um, zero, eight, eight. It's um it's a one zero one zero one zero one zero one zero all the way across. That's right. Yep. I'm gonna have a one, a zero, a one, a zero, a one, a zero, a one, a zero. So what am I saying? The knot applying the knot happens first before anything else is done. You might have two parallel values here, but if you apply not to everything, you just flip it. You just flip it. That's what you're doing. Okay. So I want to see if you really get this. And to see if you really get this, I'm going to put a quick assignment out there. And here's what the assignment's going to look like. It's a Boolean worksheet. So I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you eight bits and eight bits. And I want to think of these in parallel, right? Because I'm taking this set A and B. I'm taking this set of values for variable A and variable B, but, but I don't just have a single value for A and a single value for B. I have eight bits. I have a whole byte here. So I want you to consider this to be a parallel scenario or a parallel case, okay? Here, I want you to use or, do the same thing. I want you to put the answers down here below each one, right? Everybody with me? Yes. And this one, I want you to enter the result for the binary input values for A based on the function not A. So I want you to not this one, not that one, not this one, and put the answers for that down below here. And then this last one is going to be a combo problem. So this is the one I want to explain a little bit. You're going to determine the first answer, which is derived from the two binary values of A and B based on the OR function. So I'm going to OR the 8 bits for A parallel with 8 bits for B. Then I'm going to apply NOT to the first answer. I'm going to get a first set of 8 values based on OR, A and B. Okay. Then I'm going to flip them and put the final not knotted answer down here. Everybody got that? Yeah. Yes. Okay. You put Good. the not function on the final line, right? Correct. Since you're going to yeah. order the two values and put those answers here, but then you're going to take a second step and not each one across. Okay. That's what I want. All right. So this is what's out there. I'm going to stop recording and stop sharing.